Tax, I think, over the last year has changed a little bit of their uh, warranty policy. We did indeed, Dave. Last year in 2009, we updated the warranty and started to recognize the way the engines are being used a little better, took into account the concerns of the customers, and extended warranty times on the newer model engines. So what you have to do is make sure that you see if you have an engine that applies to that is locate the serial number on your engine that would be a good start. And this serial number will be located on your two strokes in a black tag mark somewhere on the engine. It'll have the seven digit number and the engine type. Once you have that, then you can establish whether it's covered by the new warranty policies that were released, released in 2009. The two-stroke engines now have 18 consecutive months or they have 100 hours uh, total time, either one that occurs first that would cover you. That recognizes the long build time of uh, one of some of the kits and gives you ample time to get the engine into service and see if you have an issue. Now, the warranty, what parts of the engine does the warranty actually cover? Everything that you get delivered in your engine package, if it has a Rotax gearbox, the engine, the whole assembly would be covered that you take delivery of. Uh, other than the engine, engine mounts, uh, other components that the airframer would make wouldn't be covered, that would be covered by your airframe supplier. If you're an experimental builder, uh, that would be your responsibility if you fabricate your own engine mounts, for example. And removal replacement of the engine on the airframe would be part of the airframe responsibility. We delivered the engine as it is, and that's what you would be covered in parts of the labor. Now, some of these builders, though, are, are uh, experimental aircraft builders. They can take them three or four years to actually get their engine up and running. How is, uh, what would your, be your recommendation there? Definitely the best thing, Dave, is always don't buy the engine until you're ready to install it. We want to limit the time it's in storage because you have a, a calendar that starts from the date of manufacture of 24 months from the factory. Within the first six months, the engine should be registered. The last thing we want to do is leave it sitting in a box for more than two years. We're worried about corrosion and storage issues on the engine. So always take delivery of the engine at the last moment so it has any new updates, it has uh, fresh everything on it. We don't have anything that's outdated and uh, that way you're sure that everything's going to operate correctly. Now, how does one then actually apply for the Rotax warranty? Generally, the seller of the engine, uh, if it's a service center or an OEM manufacturer, will do the warranty registration to the customer. If for some reason it was not done, uh, you can do this through the independent service center. If you want to know who that is, go to the RotaxFlyingClub.com webpage and you'll be able to find out who your nearest independent service center is to ensure the paperwork is registered with the factory and up to date. And if you want to stay up to date with things that are happening as far as updates to the engine and that type of thing, is there a website where they can get that information from? There is, Dave. Actually, there's a very good one. It's uh, www.rotax-owner.com and they will put you on a mailing list. You have to register. It's free. And it, they, what they'll do is they will send you notifications of any new publications that come to the market. In addition, they have a complete historical list of all the existing documents, both the manuals and the bulletins are available there. Or you can go to the parent website, which is rotax-aircraft-engines.com. That website has all of the documents. They don't offer notification, however, but they do carry all the historical material and they carry everything that's up to date. Wow. Now, when we're talking warranty, a lot of people just think it's parts, but I think there's also parts and labor that are included. Yes, new engines carry a parts and labor warranty. And if you have a problem, with the engine that's anything related to workmanship or manufacturing defect, those things are what are covered. It's to make sure there's no defect from manufacturing from new. Now in addition, something people should realize is if you have an old engine, maybe 10 years old, that you install new parts, if the new part has a problem, those new parts have the exact same warranty as a new engine. You have that 18 months or 100 hours on the engine. So that gives people who bought, oh, say for example, they bought a new gearbox. The new gearbox would be covered with the same warranty as the new engine. So that's something to remember if you have problems. And of course, you need to work for warranty always with your independent service center. So as we round uh, this up, Eric, are there a series of websites that people can go to which would have a 
a lot of this information that you're looking for? Certainly. Each one of the uh, websites that carries the bulletins direct, um, you can locate great technical help through Rotax Flying Club for the manuals, and .com, rotaxflyingclub.com, for technical bulletin support, rotax-owner.com, and the one that carries everything is rotax-aircraft-engines.com. That's the main website from Rotax. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dan.